Welcome to Deadball TV, everybody. Today, we're doing Premier League hot takes, okay? Too many people, they've already ranked every single team, their predictions, all that. We're going to skip that the straight-up rankings, and we're just going to go into the individual hot takes. And you know I got to ask you right now to put your own hot take down below in the comments. And if you like watching YouTube videos of the lads talking about the Premier League, you need to hit subscribe. I'm pretty sure 41% of y'all watch the videos consistently, but you don't hit the subscribe button. So I don't really know what you're waiting for. If it was a formal invitation, here it is. I invite you, we invite you to hit subscribe and leave a like on the video if you enjoy it. Okay, Jake, I'm coming to you for the first hot take. Start start us off with a good one. Let's, uh, let's, uh, let, don't hold back. Don't hold back. All right. Let's have it. I've been thinking about this all week. Okay. <laughs> and I am going to venture out of my dark, dark hermit cave and say that <laughs> if Harry Kane stays at Spurs, we were just talking about Harry Kane, which is which is funny. If Harry Kane stays at Spurs, they will win silverware this season. Whoa. They will win something. Whoa. They will win something. It could be wow. the Carabao, but they will wow. win some yes, form of civil war. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, let's break this down a little bit. Is that because you are such a believer in Kane's ability? Or are you, in a roundabout way, saying that Ange Postacoglu is one of the best managers in the Prem? I think Postacoglu would help. Say that five times fast. Yeah, no, I can't. <laughs> Um, he's Greek, Australian, by the way. Fun fact. He's gonna I'm help gonna bring up. bring some new seasoning to the team because this team stale, moldy as hell. Mm -hmm. They need some. They need some underneath them to fire their asses up. Honestly, I'm kind of thinking James Madison is gonna get them there mm -hmm. to one piece of silverware. That mm -hmm. lad can ball. I think he's a great pickup for Spurs. And Agreed. hopefully this uh, new kid from um, Wolfsburg that y'all signed can completely replace Dyer in the back. Okay. And I think um, with that in the books, I mean, like, yeah, y'all are still a little shaky in the midfield. But if y'all can keep scoring goals and Madison can just feed Kane, if Kane stays. If he stays. Then I think y'all – have a higher chance of outscoring teams. Y'all still leak goals, I feel like, but oh, y'all yeah. will outscore teams and, in my opinion, outscore your way to silverware. One piece of silverware this season. Wow. Okay. Um, well, I'm, I'm ecstatic to hear that. I'm going to throw one of my hot takes on top of yours, and this is, of course, also um, uh, on the back of Hurricane Sting. And that is, I think James Madison going to be top three in the Prem and assists. Wow. They're going to be top wow. three. Wow. I think it'll be, he's he got a lot of people to dish out to, right? Bro, yeah. yeah. I, I mean, he, he's, he's the, he could be the executive chef in the kitchen right now, cooking up yes. some hot, hot, spicy dishes and just throwing them bitches around. I mean, we can only pray every day that that's what ends up happening. I want, I wanted to be Ratatouille. At Tottenham Hotspur Way. That's what Good I want. Bit. And if you check out how the team performed last season, I'm, I'm like 100% sure Perisic was our top assist man with eight. I think there's a lot of opportunity for the midfield to get a little more creative. Haven't replaced Erickson since he left. And uh, I think Madison could be that guy. Now, obviously, if Kane leaves, then, well, it's going to be a uh, the start of a rebuild. One if day. Kane leaves, and this might be another, this is like a mini hot take. If Kane leaves, y'all won't see Europe for a while. Oh, I agree. I agree. Yeah. Y'all will be eighth or ninth. Uh, I'm thinking nine. I'm top thinking nine. Top, thinking nine. top half, but barely missing out. Yeah. What if Son scores 25? We squeak in seven. at seven? Okay. <laughs> seven. <laughs> seven. Yeah. 
Yeah. James Madison has 15 assists, 10 goals. Sun's got 25 and 10, but he gets seventh. Yeah, that sounds about <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, no, that's uh, that's interesting. You guys let us know in the comments if you think that uh, Tottenham win a trophy. I said that last season that Conte was going to get us one, and obviously he didn't even stick around till the end. Um, bro, a lot of people think we're going to sack Ainge like – like he's on one of the hottest seats in the Prem. I completely disagree. I think he's going to be here for a while and definitely makes it the season. But I think the one thing I'm kind of concerned about Madison is the effort. I think some Leicester fans will tell you that he kind of checks out sometimes. Could have been because Leicester were terrible. And while they were terrible, man still got you a double-double in the Prem. Yeah. Like that's, come that's on excellent. Now. Like, yeah he, he, yeah, he was the team. Like him and Harvey Barnes. I mean, Tielemans was, he was already at Villa. Like he, yeah, he was five. checked out. He oh, checking. completely, completely. He he Agreed. wanted no business of that Brendan Rodgers led team. No, he was. Um, okay, I mean, say what you want about the Caicedo transfer. At least the man stuck around. He's playing his. He was playing his heart out. You know. Yeah. Completely. Tielemans was like, goodbye. As Caicedo should, by the way, because it was his first like legit season in the Prem. I would that would have been a red oh, flag to me if he if he oh, checked yeah. out. Mm -hmm. and, but the Ecuadorians, bro, they, they're ready for him to move, and we'll see if it happens. We'll see if it happens. Maybe we'll make a video about it. Just hit subscribe. All right, Connor, give us your first hot take. All right. Um, I'm saying of all of the teams that are coming into the Prem, I think Luton's going to pop off. They're going to be the Giants Ooh. later. Okay. I'm going to say it. Um, everybody's that. everybody's hyped up about Wrexham. Everybody's hyped up about, you know, um, the Ted Lasso are they? Uh, phenom. You know, yeah, I would say so. You know, everybody Lasso, wants yeah. a lot from the from the underdog. And I think that um, people are going to show up on a rainy day in Luton. And they're going to get absolutely bollocked. I think that these fellas are going to come out um, firing. And if you give them an inch, they're going to take a mile. So, um, yeah, I, I don't know what that looks like. For Luton, because I'm not exactly familiar with how their talent level is going to um, translate to the Prem, but I think we're going to get uh, the most surprises from a, a recent addition to the Prem from Luton. Okay. okay. No, I like that shout because every video I've seen, people got them 20th, including myself. Including myself. Yo, and, I, and they, look, they might, they might end up 20th, but I'm telling you, if yep. Chelsea shows up, if Chelsea shows up to Luton, not prepared. They they spend too much time doing their makeup instead of focusing on uh, stretches and stuff. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now, mm. Luton's gonna punch him in the mouth. You're gonna get punched in the mm. mouth. These boys are gonna play. I want them to play Brexit ball. I want them to play Brexit ball. What you think about that, Jake? Luton finish eighth in the prem. That's what I said. They Mark. will not. They will Roll not the be. They will not be capable of doing any Brighton or. Uh... No, when when Wolves first oh, joined, hell no. when Wolves first joined from the from the from the championship, they were like, oh, my God, who are these guys? Yeah, I'm going to I think Luton guaranteed to get relegated. Um, <laughs> but but I just think, bro, the squad is, is so weak. Yeah, it, it would be. Weak. Yeah, they're they're not they're not ready for the Prem. I don't think I was I could maybe. Well, they'll stay up if three other teams obviously do way worse than them. And Collapse. I think I could name three other teams. Everton. That's one. No, nah, no. Nah, Sean Dyche won't get relegated with the full season. Sean Dyche is the only thing that that team has going for them. I'm sure that, yeah, actually, I can't even name a single signing off the top of my head. <laughs> I probably should know. Huh. They oh, haven't well. brought anyone in. Ball knowledge exposed. Okay. Um, <laughs> speaking of bringing someone in, my hot take, my first one of many, is that Andre Onana is going to be a disappointment in Man U this season. Y'all putting way too much expectations on this man. And this is a very gifted goalkeeper, but one who makes a lot of mistakes. He's probably the riskiest goalkeeper I've ever seen. He will try to nutmeg you if you are the opposition rather than just clear the ball. And I feel like the man yeah. you fan base, he's going to make one mistake and you might look past the first one. But when that second one happens, y'all going to say, bring back Dean Henderson. I swear to God. It's gonna get real I see, dude. Real I see. I see flashes of Ederson, and Ederson works in Pep's, you know, weird ass system. But I don't. I don't really trust that man. I don't really trust that man, and it's scary. That that was that was one of them on my list. Yes, correct. So really? you said he's gonna be a flop. I don't know. if Flop is. If, or he's okay. gonna disappoint, or, or he's not gonna live up to his transfer fee. He's not. If gonna you live up think to he's going to be a top three goalkeeper, he will be a flop. In my opinion, it's another yeah. way for me to say it. I yeah. just don't really think the guy's got the sauce to be the man you goalkeeper. Like it's a, I mean, look, 
he's Cameroonian. He's got swag. He's got his own brand. It looks sick, but I don't know. I felt like I kind of felt like the job he did at Inter was a little overrated. Yeah, overappreciated maybe not maybe not overrated, but it was like you settle know, down. I honestly think, and maybe this is just the online spaces that I run with that that isn't a hot take. Really, they say it on Twitter that he's gonna. They be talking a lot about him on the pro Trump Reddit threads. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they do. They do. They specifically bring him up. It was the most upvoted uh, comment the other day. Yeah. I saw it myself. Um, <laughs> I knew y'all both on that. Shit. <laughs> yeah, I'm that's the mod true. on there. That's true. Oh, y'all no. both in there like the Barbie movie fucking. Suck. Yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> no, no. I feel like the general consensus is that it's going to take him a little bit to adjust to the prem. Yeah, because I think you know during preseason he already got scored from like a halfway goal line shot, you know, so not or, or, or or like a midfield shot, halfway goal line, um, you know, and, and it's just that's probably gonna there's probably gonna be mistakes like that that happen, but if you're a true United fan, you will remember all the mistakes that De Gea has made, where mm-hmm. the man could never play with his feet for the past forever. I feel like, but it's he really got exposed here in the past couple of seasons. Yeah. So I think having a goalkeeper who can actually, you know, have two legs underneath them that know how to kick the ball at least and have some control and be able to distribute. Um, I think most people will overlook that. I, I I feel the general consensus with the United fans is that we overpaid, but I feel like we overpay for every player. Correct. Because that's the United tax. Correct. And we're just, you know, ready to throw down money, you know, just just really nilly. Correct. Look, I think De Gea is a better shot stopper than Onana. Onana is definitely better than with his feet because De Gea is terrible with his feet. I just feel like people are watching too many highlight reels. They're getting a little too excited. And I think people aren't completely prepared for the caliber of goalkeeper that you guys are getting. Like Tottenham were linked with Onana a few years ago, and I looked at like his basically his true shot stopping grade has gotten worse and worse since like 2018. And I don't know, I don't know if that's because he's been transitioning more and more to a sweeper. I have no idea. But yeah. I just look at that and I'm like, this is about right. Like this, this kind of matches what I've seen with my own eyes. We don't need to like beat up on the dude. I I, I like him. Um yeah, yeah, no, He's, no, nobody's anti Onana here. Yeah, no, no, definitely not. I mean, he did retire from the Cameroonian national team, so uh, you can look at that as a positive or a negative, depending on what you want to do. Probably positive because he won't miss any games for AFCON. Um, but I don't know, man. I don't know. If, I don't know. Look, he's got confidence, which he's going to need. But in terms of just pure ability, I don't know. All right, Jay, why don't you give us another one? I want to take a quick break to remind you guys to hit subscribe if you haven't already done so. And to follow us on social media, links in the description, so you know all about our upcoming videos and live streams. Thank you guys for the support. Now back to the video. I think West Ham getting relegated. <sighs> you know, I, almost, I almost had that shit. I almost put that shit down. Can I tell you why I disagree? Yeah. Okay. Because they will sack no, David I... Moyes, and then whoever comes in will actually have this team playing like they should. Ooh. Ooh. Who okay. who would they bring in, though? Dude, literally anybody. I could see, now that he's out at Wolves, I could see Lopetegui going right back in at West Ham. I mean, dude, you look at the squad, and you're just like, how are you this bad? I know they won the Europa Conference League, but you should not be this bad. Especially, and like, let's see how the rest of the transfer window wraps up. I mean, apparently, Man Man City are about to pay $110 million for Paqueta, which is insane. I mean, that's like some of the, I mean, that's how you know this oil money getting out of hand. Damn, Connor, right? you that, should be happy about that. That's great. Oh, Bro, he's he not, he not going to sniff the you, lineup at City. You know that passes all FFP no. regulations. Uh, no, yeah. yeah, that's dude. When I saw the price tag for Guardiol, like I'm excited for him, but like, oh, stop, he worth it. He he worth I, it. I no, I get it, but like, that's just too much. It's too that, much money. That was your reaction to Guardiol and not Paqueta for more than Harry Kane. No, I hey Paqueta too. I think it's Paqueta, by the way, but Paqueta, I I don't. No, it's Packet. James Pickering. <laughs> 
his name. Well, I was I'm tempted to call him Packet after you got me what four assists last season, six. Not Look, good enough. I, 110 I'm not, million apparently. I'm not. I'm not. I I don't buy that. I'm not interested. We're also in the market for Mitoma. It's just very uncity like transfers. I'm feeling like. I mean, I get the reinforcement thing. We're going to be playing 60 games a season. It's it's going to be unreal. But I I don't. I really am not. We'll, we'll do a city transfer video another day. What? Yeah. So, but you seem like you're in agreement that West Ham could get relegated. Um, or will be relegated. maybe not that they get relegated, but I don't think they perform that well. But you raise a really good point. Managers are in the hot seat in the prem just inherently, right? If they yes. start performing poorly, no reason they're they're not going to get uh sent right out. You know, <laughs> like if he stays the whole season. Maybe we have a a, a a more in-depth conversation about that. Like, I completely agree. This team is not firing as it should. They're not living up to expectations. And you didn't you don't really hear much about them over this summer. So I don't I don't really buy that. Um, but uh, Moyes, yeah, yeah I, I could see him getting out. And um, yeah, new managers always have an impact for good or worse. And you can't really think that they could be performing much worse compared to their squad structure. So um yeah, I'm kind of on the fence, but but I buy that. I buy that. It's not going to be looking good for them in the beginning of the season. West They're getting relegated. Moyes are not. They're not scoring enough goals. Valid. Uh, I don't know. Before uh, Edson Alvarez signed with them, I would have agreed, but he's going to keep them up. Just wait. Um, he's going to stop them the from getting scored on, maybe, but they ain't scoring any goals. So they let one in, you know? Craig Dawson lets one in. You're is done. is goddamn is Skamaka officially sold? Like you guys yeah. know, yeah, he's, yeah. A, he's, he's officially at, sold. He he's at Atlanta now. Crazy, bro. That's got to be one of the biggest wasted transfers I've ever seen. Yeah, okay, now that's a problem. That's a problem. They can't score. They their biggest uh, goal scorer last year was Antonio, thirty two years old. Terrible. You know, played half the games, maybe even less. Bench press merchant, terrible. And then bench press merchant. Their second highest goal scorer is Jared Bowen, which he had a down season too. He yeah, down yeah. I mean, like, season. I think he's good, but I mean, in in my opinion, you can't rely, especially in this version of the Prem in the past couple of years, you can't rely on your wingers to score all your goals. Unfortunately, no. unless you're Mosala, yeah, or Son a few years ago, two years ago. Thank you. Um. Dude, I'm just looking. There's no way a, t a team with Saeed Ben Rama, Lucas Paqueta, Pablo Fornals, Jared Bowen, Danny Ings, Edson Alvarez, Dude, Thomas they can't Suchek, score goals. They There's no striker. They got Danny Ings. He'll get you 12. Danny Ings, Danny Ings is solid. He'll you get you 12. I'm, look, my point is this team is way too talented to even be having this discussion. It's embarrassing, and I can't even imagine how Hammers fans feel about this. They're like, bro, we should be like top 10. And we're looking at like 16th, realistically. Yeah. Damn, will we get you 12? I don't know about Danny Ings. Can you Danny Ings, you Danny Ings in the right system. Into. Danny uh, Ings in the right system is uh, is a danger. Know, All right, 12, bro. If he doesn't break his yeah. ankle like week two, he yeah, can get bro, you 12. Bro, he bro, might be able to get you 12. Yeah. City was looking at him a while back, and I really liked that transfer. I really liked the idea of that. I, don't I think, think he would have so. been a great backup. I don't think so. I don't think there's anyone to give him the ball. He's an old, he's an old bloke too. He's not a lad anymore. He's a bloke. He's, he's 32. That's old. Yeah, that's the bloke. No, that's it is bloke. not. Oh that's my old. god, that's, that's old. For so, I, I didn't call him a geezer. But come on, for an Englishman, that's old, baby. Uh, not old. It's, it's it's young enough to get you 12. That's all and I'm saying. Them English genetics, they dragging his ass down. I don't the, think so. I don't think so. Ing sounds like it might have a bit Irish in there. I don't know if that's better or worse. Uh, Connor, why don't you go ahead and give us the next uh, next hot take? Okay, um, we're going to switch back to Man U. Um, I think that oh Manchester God. United is going to perform the exact same that they did last season. And that's a hot take because of all the fucking bullshit that I've seen. Like, I, I, I don't know. I Ho Hoylund or, or whatever. I mean, it's going to take some growing pains to figure that team out. And I think that the bald fraud is uh, a good coach. And I think he's capable of it. But I think any sort of um, lucrative progress that we see is going to happen next season. I'm 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 really hesitant with uh, the new signings being implemented uh, about how you know successful that is going to be. 
So when you say same performance, you mean they're going to finish third or they're going to get 75 third, points? I, I mean that they are going to be streaky. They're going to have moments where they look really good, and then they're going to have moments where they look really beatable. And where that lands them this season? Top five, I think. But, um, yeah, I don't know. I, I, see them as, I see them as really streaky. The only thing that I think guarantees them a top three finish is the beginning of the season, which is, again, going to be tough with uh, uh, the introduction of uh, a lot of these new guys. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm just really, really hesitant to, uh, to stake a claim that they are going to perform objectively well for their club, their fans, and um, the expectation that surrounds the caliber of player that's at Manchester United. I think they're going to perform the exact same. They're going to be some games where you watch it and you're like, oh, we're going to win the Prem. And then other times where Rashford is just a non-factor and, um, you know, you're going to be relying on the uh, the Anthony dance on the wing. What do, you, so, what do you say about that? So maybe this is like a unique United thing. And maybe it's just like a plastic United fan thing that that you see pop up on the on the timeline or whatever. But I mean, it seems like a lot of the people that I see that pop up. um. They'd be okay with the top four finish. You know, I don't think anyone's expecting to win the Prem. Now, if you ask some rando in Indonesia who's got 50 United jerseys, he's probably, you know, thinking that, yeah, you know, we're going to win. Probably the bullish. Yeah. 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 He's probably a lot more bullish than um, three highly intellectual uh, Texans on the podcast right here. Um, Cowboy. Yeah. I, I mean, I think we're probably one to two transfer windows away from actually contending for the title because I don't think we have enough depth and we we got plagued by that last season when we were in uh, what four competitions at once yeah where every single player was playing every single game yeah you know yeah. in all competitions and they were flying across the fucking globe it was know? kind of the arsenal problem I think that's why they yeah. ran out of gas yeah you know and so uh, yeah, I mean, that that's kind of my take on that. No, I agree. I think until you guys reach the point where you're making similar signings to Manchester City, where you're literally buying other teams' best players to be your backup, y'all aren't going to win the Premier. Yeah. Just simply Nature play. of the league. Nature of oil money, yes. Nature, yeah. nature of the well, league. Which, which, which has infected the league. And you can go watch one of our other 60 videos for that. <laughs> Ooh, you want to get into it right now? Dude. I feel no, like it would I be. A, I'm just saying. <laughs> I feel like it would be a hotter take to say, "Man, you are not getting top four, which is now top five. Now top five get Champions League. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Valen. Well, that's that's my take. I feel like I see a lot of stuff pointing in a very optimistic direction, and I really don't think it's going to pan out like that. Okay. I think okay. that. Um, I, I don't think there's any silverware won this season. Um, and I Ooh, think that that's a hot take. Okay, there it is. I don't think there's any silverware won this season. And um, I think that they are poised for really excellent performance next season. That's my compliment sandwich there. I think we'll win one of the Mickey Mouse trophies. No, I don't think so. I don't think you guys will win anything either. You I'm might sure. if you sign Harry Kane on a free next year, but um <laughs> Y'all didn't want to pay up. Uh, said you got some uh, some kid from uh, City A. Anyways, uh, all right. Well, I'm gonna turn up the heat a little bit on that take and say that <sighs> Arsenal not fin finishing in a UCL spot. Wow! Wow! So they're not top wow. five. They're not top five. What you thinking? You think it's just a massive like second season slump for the yep. uh, the Arteta Mobile? Two two wow. things. Well, not second slump. It's like season six, right? Um, right, right, right. But I'm saying like, yeah, you see season. like some of these guys come into like really excellent form. Mm -hmm. This is their second season, you know, or coming up on their second season, you know, with these expectations. And that's the key word is expectations. OK, nobody expected Arsenal to make a title challenge last season. Nobody did. And as mm -hmm. soon as the pressure was turned on, they lost a lot of games near the end of the season. Part of that's fatigue, part of that's injury. I don't think they have a squad, the squad to do and perform how they performed last season and in Europe. 
I think the only reason that my prediction gets screwed up is if like it's a catastrophe in the Champions League and they go out in the group stage or something, then maybe they have enough time to like refocus on the Prem. Yeah, I mean, I don't think they have the squad. I don't think they they'll be able to perform under the expectations. I don't think you're going to see teams like Chelsea and Spurs be that god awful. Like, there's no way Chelsea finishing twelfth again. Yeah, no. They're no they're going to be rejuvenated under Pochettino. Tottenham already look like they're playing the prettiest football since Pochettino, ironically. Um, and I think the points differential between spots damn near th three through nine might be like five points. I think it's going to be real. They could be one point behind Tottenham or Man U, but be two spots below them because of like goal differential. I mean, that is how tough the Prem is getting. Even yeah. Brighton, Brighton are like the ninth best team in the Prem. They could easily yeah. steal a game off Arsenal next season. Brentford. Yeah. Thomas Frank. I mean, who knows what Fulham will be able to do um, next season. I just think there's a lot of factors. I think there's not a lot of room for error. And uh, Arsenal kind of lost uh, some – I lost faith in them based on how they performed last season. So, I don't think they're going to finish uh, in the Champions League spot. Wow. Um, I said it was hot. I said I was turning the, the heat up. I meant it. We're at 425 right now. Wait till you hear my next one. I think that is a fair shout because we love talking about expectations, baby. We love talking about that shit. And they're important. They are important. And I think this is Arteta's biggest transfer window yet. He got full approval from the board to go in. And they're going to have to define their mission statement. Is it to win the Champions League? Yep. To win the Prem? Or the win the FA. I don't think they can do all three. They are not. Hell no. They are not on a city type level to even think about trying to win multiple pieces of important silverware. I feel like they got to choose one and stick with it. Yeah. And I'm kind of curious to see what, what, what they choose. I feel like it should be the Prem. It's been a long time since they've won the Prem. I agree. But I wonder if they'll say Champions League because they feel like. They just have a better chance in a one-off game of upsetting which, City or which, Real. which they could be. They 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 could have that um, that thought process. You know, it's going to come down to. Uh, I feel like who's who's healthy. You know, they brought in a bunch of bodies, but injuries have uh, plagued them before. Well, they brought in Kai Havertz for seventy-five mil, which is a lot of money. Woo! That I right, dude. That oh boy, I I wanted to put him in my hot takes, but. That is a rough transfer. IMO. Was one of your hot takes the worst transfer? Or did you no. have one? Okay. No, but let me think about it. Okay. While you think about that, Jake, why don't you give us your next one? My next one? Mm -hmm. I feel like Aston Villa could squeak in top five. Wow. Barely. I, com I completely agree. I actually have them finishing – Fourth or fifth? Yeah. Barely, yeah. A, a, a fourth or fifth spot. Yep. Say more. Say more. I want to hear this. Yep, yep. Lay it out. I think they've had some pretty <laughs> smart business in the window. You know, Pau Torres and uh, Diaby. And... Great signings. I mean, like, they, they had all the pieces to the puzzle last season, it feels like, and they were just, you know, trying to figure out which... Which pieces went where? And I feel like this season, with the full season um, ahead of them, they have a clear vision. And I think they've got to focus, and they will focus fully on the Prem. Yeah. And, you know, going back to expectations, there's not a lot, I feel like, riding on them. And we've, we've seen in the past, you know, with the Brightons and the Arsenals, even, and the Brentfords, where... You know, when the average fan doesn't expect anything of you, you're probably going to get your teams. The team you support uh, is probably going to get their asses whooped. When they have expectations, they get their ass whooped. Because there's no expectations of Villa, they're going to whoop your team's ass. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Yes. Well, I think the number one supporting point for your hot take, which hilariously – neither of us had a very strong reaction to it because I completely agree, is that Steven Gerrard will not be the manager. 
and that man is an absolute fraud. And yeah. had Unai Emery been the manager all of last season, they're getting top four last year. Top four last year. They were they missed by six points. Unai got half a season. Yeah. You think he doesn't pick up two extra wins in like 16 games or whatever? Yeah, that's, eight. That's, that's valid. That's valid. He does. So we're going to see. We're going to see. It's a good It's a good team now. I don't know if – I think internally there are expectations. But I think like in the global zeitgeist, there's not enough clicks to go around to add international pressure to Villa. But I bet like villain fans, the villain army – The villains? They're like, no, nah, we, we, we got to like win something. I, I'm pretty sure they have expectations of Unai, who's won many things – that he'll win something for Villa, which would be massive. When's the last time they won something? Oh, no. 80s. It's, it's been that long? 81, 82. They... Oh, my God. Yep. Oh, my God. That's insane. I thought you were going to say like 2004 or something. They got an FA. Snuck one in there. Wow, they've only been in the... Damn. Damn, they're a big club too, at least in England. Yeah. Oh yeah. I didn't I would not have thought that. Okay. Wow, I am a fraud. I thought that they've been in the Prem for like since the 90s, but they were actually relegated in 2016 and then they won back promotion yep. in 2019. Yep, I remember cuz I would always sign Jack Relation career mode from the championship. Yeah. <laughs> but I mean like historically they're they're a successful team. And then they were like, a, it was kind of like a Leeds effect a little bit where they were just like really bad for a while. Historically, yeah. they were fucking beasts in 1900. Not the 1900s, 1900. <laughs> <laughs> Dominated. They marked teams back then. I yeah. can already see it, dude. It's just a bunch of bald guys with mutton chops running yeah. around. Absolutely boss. That was yep. Brexit ball. Yeah, that, that was Brexit ball. Oh, <laughs> that was pre. Yeah. yeah, that was imperialism ball. No, right. without a doubt, without a doubt. Um, okay, I think we only got a few more here. Connie, you want to give one of your uh, your last hot takes? Oh God, um, because it's hot. It's okay. going. Can, mine is scorching. It. Mine is scorching, dude. Okay. Oh, so. I don't want to say it. All right, and there's a modicum of bias that comes in here. Oh, oh my Lord. God. Oh, Lord. Chelsea's one of the Premier League. <laughs> Winning the Brem? Oh, my God. That is hot. Well, that why is you, why do you think volcanic that? eruption? Oh, God. Hot. That is. Um, look, I, you said hot oh take. I'm, I'm going to take it here, and I'm going to stand my ground. Um, and you know what? I'm going to get into this. All right. Pochettino. Yeah, please do. Pochettino's that guy. Pochettino's that guy. He had a massive issue at uh, uh, Paris Saint-Germain. Um, but I think he comes back into a league that he's familiar with. He's going to see Pep wearing a sweater vest, and he's going to be like, I'm, I'm home, baby. And he's going to be able to make the tough decisions to get all of the extra fat out of that squad. Um, and by get them out of that squad, I don't know if it means sell them, whatever. He's going to delegate that. He's going to be like, you do whatever you want with them. These belong to you. I didn't make these signings. My team sheet this is my team sheet i i'm saying he's gonna make decisions akin to you know in spite of enzo being argentine he's not starting if he's not playing well like i'm telling you right now like i don't i don't give a shit if he's the most expensive argentine transfer in history i think this man's going to get them out i don't think he'll have to because I think he's such a good man manager, he's going to be able yeah. to get these boys into firing squad shape, firing firing squad shape. Into yeah, uh, they're going to get them firing on all pistons. What but, is firing squad shape? I don't, I don't know that. You have to be in 2014 shape. Never, Germany. Never, never, is never heard what that. Looks like <laughs> never heard that term before. Yeah, me, me neither. That's coined one of the many coined phrases on the. Channel. He's going to get ready to uh, line up the opposition and, um, well, take him out against a brick wall in. Uh, in southern France, that's firing squad shape, and I think he's going to have the uh, the gumption, the resolve to uh, to get that done. So you think Pochettino's? I love Pochettino, but you think yeah. he's taking them from twelve to first? Yeah, that's my hot take. 
I think I think in a season where um, I'm not exactly feeling supremely confident about City, I think Pep himself has stated um, just today, actually, or at least the stories are breaking that uh, that he doesn't think that they can achieve everything that they did last season. Now, does that he's mean- a liar, and that's him managing expectations. He's a pathological liar. That's him managing players' hey, expectations. Hey, 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 what? I don't know. Hey, it's like when you say I'm not drinking anymore. I'm like, oh, yeah, sure, whatever, bro. Until I you get that text it. from Jack Grealish at fucking 11.30 on a yeah. Friday night. He's like, oi, oi, Pope? oi. Yeah. Pope? <laughs> oh, my God. Um, do you think these guys go to pubs? Yeah, I do. You think so? I don't think they yeah. can. Depends on the player. But, yeah. Depends on the, the guy. The guys on, uh, at Luton, they're going to the pub. Oh, they're going to the pub. But Jack Grealish can't go to a pub. Probably not. He'd probably go in private section no. at a club. Yeah, at a club, right? Yeah, yeah, he has to, or they have like some like premier pub or something like that. Oh, pri- private yeah, private pub. events. At, at, yeah, 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 something like that. Something, something like that. that. I mean, he's got no shortage of things to do. Um, but uh, Chelsea but first yeah. is crazy. Yeah, Chelsea first is crazy. I told you, that's, scorching hot. That's crazy. It's scorching hot. I don't even know if I believe it. Saying it out loud. Um, that being said. Good. Um, they have the the highest ceiling. They've got the best roster. They've got the most depth. Highest ceiling of who? Any team in the prem. Maybe any team in the world. Now that's a hot take. What? They have a higher ceiling than City? How is that possible? I think they did just a massive amount of talent that they have. And what about the massive amount of talent in? you guys have? Yeah. That's true. That's true. That's true. Yes. And we're staying, but we lost a lot of iconic players. Um, if Chelsea figures out the striker situation gonna give everybody a run for them and that's gonna be that's then they'll that's, be on par with liverpool that's the problem no no they're not gonna be on par with liverpool don't come at me liverpool's entire issue is squad depth chelsea's gonna be able to rotate their and socks off if somebody's like boss i've got a wedding that i need to go to he's gonna be like all right you're not starting but i've got three guys to replace you they are they good have- enough they're good enough to make two top six contending squads of the prem they have very highly rated youngsters with, with high ceilings, but they don't have yes. like proven killers. That's exactly, team. exactly. I think that the potential for those players is there. There's a reason they went for these price tags. I think Pochettino is the man to bring that out of them. You I don't think them that's to go unrealistic. From 12th to one, though. That's crazy. Yeah. I, I have them I, finishing third. I think they go third. Okay, the jump from third to first is is actually now that I'm saying it, it's pretty bad. Could could be but astronomical. We're talking fifteen yeah. points. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we're talking fifteen <laughs> points. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I don't know. Uh, I, I okay. think I think uh, Poch has like a better expectation as to uh, how to manage, you know, superstar egos, and he's he's gonna come back and he's gonna be like, look, I went to Paris. It was a shit show. I know how to do this correctly. They didn't give me the backing. Are you gonna give me the backing? And I think the only reason he would have signed is if they said yes. So with that support behind them, I mean, this is Todd Bowley's Enzo Fernandez, you know, Ferrari signing uh, on a managerial level. And that comes with stipulations. So I, I don't think that Pochettino would have taken this job if he was hamstrung in any way, shape or form. Now, what that looks like going down the stretch, I don't know. But I think that Pochettino is the guy to say, give me one season to do things and to do things my way. And then you can have your input at the end. Otherwise I'll hit the road. I just think people are going to be like, Poch didn't do it at Spurs. He didn't do it at PSG. I don't have faith. He's going to do it here. I feel like that's going to be the main rebuttal to that. And I think there's, I think it's less fair for Tottenham's case, but I think it's, I think it is fair for PSG. Like he should have won the league. He should not have lost the league to Leo. Um, and dude, I don't know. I don't know. I think I, I'm kind of with Jake. I, I'm not sure where the bite is with this team. Like I think, and Cuckoo's out now for like six months. That's huge. Nicholas Jackson, I really like him because I thought he was a beast to Billy Real. But is he yeah, going to come he, in? He's and... their best signing. Yeah, yeah, I would agree with that. I mean, this other guy, Leslie Ogochuku, I I don't know him from the French league. Defensive no, I mean they they sign a bunch of randos from the french league that i mean have yeah. high ceilings they're young but pillaging un- the french countryside unproven like the english like henry v like henry v yeah. maybe Tom they have he's henry v i mean maybe they've got some like young guys coming up through their academy Calais. um yeah exactly Ashen court 
don't know. Ashen Court all over again. Okay. Um, oh, no. Arsenal, Chelsea, it's going to be Ashen Court. That's going to be. Dude, just the amount of the amount of talent in the Prem is absolutely disgusting right now. It's like, unreal. It's unreal. The amount of players. Yeah. The, amount the amount of names of that you have to learn. It's, I mean, it's, that, it's that too. Much. But it's like everybody from France, Spain, Italy, they're just being filtered in. It's it's a lot. Uh, I'm going to say my final, like, I don't know if this is hotter than Arsenal not finishing UCL, but it's pretty goddamn hot. And that is, this one's crazy. Eddie Howe gets sacked. Eddie Howe, Eddie Howe gets, gets sacked. sacked because when no idea because they want to bring in someone more high profile. Correct. It's They're not gonna... because of results. It's not because of like anything. It's just like we need someone else to make headlines. I They're think... going to scapegoat this man. They're going to lose three nothing to Liverpool at Anfield, which is not even a terrible result. And the board is going to see that as an opportunity to pull the plug, get him out of there and bring in Zidane. Dude, <laughs> <It's a dog. laughs> okay, that last part I have zero conviction in, but you get what I mean. They're gonna oh. be like, Thank you for your service, Eddie. We don't rate English managers, thank you very much. They're gonna There's pull the, the heist of the century oh, and they're gonna steal shit. what's his name from Brazil and uh Real Madrid. And Chilotti. And Chilotti. That would be insane. That'd be um, insane. no, but it's not his kind of team. That's not his kind of team. Um yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, dude, I don't know if I buy that. I don't know if I buy that. I think they like the brand that they have, you know, the English fans, you know, all towels over the head, you know, chance aside, they really like their English fan base. Um, and I think that they really like the fact that they've got an Eddie Howe there. You know, I feel like Eddie Howe is an English manager. They're not going to want to switch that up. Um, I think he's good for the face of the club, and he's given results right now. Let me, now, let how, me make how, how many good. how many excuses is he going to give them to sack him? I don't think he's going to give many. I don't think it's going to take much. I think if I'm the owner, I'm keeping Eddie Howe, but yeah. I think it's going to be one of those cases where it's like, all right, let me let me put this in a metaphor, right? Like, you got this car, and the car does a really good job. It's got great gas mileage, all that stuff. But all of a sudden, you just got some. Like the biggest promotion of all time. Your income just 4 x Now you got all this money. Yeah. Now you can buy better clothes. Now girls, they swipe and write on you more often on Tinder. You got more chicks in the DMs. Everyone's okay. hard on your, your upload. But when you, but when now, you no, 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 no. Let me finish. Up. And then you look at the car and you're like, you know what? This car ain't done nothing wrong. But I can do better. I deserve better. Look at my situation. Look at, look at this Gucci on my shirt. I deserve a Ferrari. So even though that car has been good to you, it's been loyal, never broken down, you haven't even taken it to the mechanic, you gonna still got it. a fresh set of tires on it. Yeah, you're gonna sell it. This is a fair analogy. You're gonna sell it. I think that is what Newcastle is gonna do, and the fans are gonna be pissed. They're gonna be outraged, and then it's up to Newcastle to make a signing that's gonna quell the riots. And I don't know if the, I, that's where my prediction ends. This is not like a. The prediction is the hot take is he gets sacked. I don't give a damn what happens after that. If I'm right, I'm buying a lottery ticket because that's crazy. But I I could see a world in which they just they just oh he lost two oh we we drew three games in a row get him out. Oh him out. somebody else just got sacked. Luis Enrique's out at PSG. Yep, get him in immediately. So let's see who is available right now. They're gonna There's... steal Sean Dyche. Dude, dude, I fucking love Sean Dyche. That's Sean Dyche is the only. Let's be clear, Sean Dyche is the only reason that my prediction, uh, one of my predictions, was not Everton's getting relegated. I agree with you. I agree with you. He not Sean Dyche is the happen. only. I wanted to do it so bad, but I can't do my boy Shawnee D like that. No, nah, Shawnee D not gonna let that happen. Shawnee D ain't gonna let that happen. All they right. could get Nagelsmann. See, dude, I was thinking, bro, Eddie Howe that. getting sacked, bro. You serious? That, Eddie, that Eddie be, Howe, I that, sacked that, in his ass. That would well, actually be Howell something that I could see happening. I don't know. Now, bro, now that you said him. that, I have never even thought about that. That potential. They're gonna sack him. They're gonna sack him. I take Eddie Howe over Nagelsmann. And then the goddamn media is gonna spin in and be like, "Well, remember when Eddie Howe got relegated with Bournemouth? Maybe he's not that good." Even though he kept them up in the prem for God knows, he's how many like their years. greatest manager ever. Yes, literally. <laughs> but you know how the media is. They, they don't, retired they, hey, yeah, they yeah. don't respect you unless you go manage at Arsenal or Man U or City and then win. 
Yeah. Actually, not even City. They still don't respect Pep. You got to be at like Liverpool or Man U, truthfully. Yeah. Otherwise, they're like, wasted his career away. It's like, okay, well, <laughs> like, I, fuck me. I don't know what to say. Um, all right, that, that's my final That's my final hot take. I got another that's like a, that's pretty hot one. one. But anybody got one more thing before we sign off here? Anything else? No. Um, We're just going to expose ourselves. Manchester City is going to lose both derbies this year. Lose two L's, lose two L's against oh, Man United. That's that's crazy. I made this decision in my heart when I saw your new jerseys. <laughs> you want that to happen because then in your head it will legitimize more when you win the league. Because then you'd be like, I mean, we lost to Man U twice. It wasn't easy. Yeah, no, we really had to fight for it this year. <laughs> no. Should we you- say our? Uh- <laughs> Are incredibly hot takes for uh, the three teams to get relegated. Um. Okay. I'm going. You go first. You go first. <sighs> wolves. Yeah. God yeah. damn it! That was mine. They going yeah. down. No, but it, God, it's, 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 it's down, fucking confirmed. It's they fucking going confirmed. so down. Yo, it's they're going confirmed. straight down, bro. Luton gonna do the double on them. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> um. I already said West Ham, so I'm gonna put them there. <laughs> Yo, that's oh my god! And then some big clubs going down. Say it, Sheffield. Oh, Mm-mm. they ain't got Mm-mm. it. They ain't got it. They ain't got it. What do you mean they, they just signed it. the Yank Austin Trusty? You gonna keep him up? They ain't, no, they ain't got it. Single handedly, but he's Premier League quality. I keep they seeing it on it. Twitter. They ain't got it, baby. He would start for Mexico. That's what they told me. They ain't got it. Godin got level. It. I think I read that a couple of places. I think the team one that hot take theory, that a team that will be sh- struggling at the bottom of the table is Crystal Palace as well. You know what? They'll they'll be like very borderline on the edge down there. And I would not be surprised if they got relegated. I think Hodgson gonna have them bang average, baby. And I think Hodgson's bang out. average. I think Hodgson's out. I think like bang average like fourteen. I'm talking. I'm I'm feeling twelve to fifteen. I don't. Zaha leaving. Those are some big, Zaha leaving big, is big, 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 huge big massive, like clown type shoes to fill. Not like because he's comical, but like Z- Zaha was signs. about to be one of my first three signings. No, you anybody disrespecting Zaha, him. like you, you got to pull up because that guy, he's an absolute stud. The fact that he didn't go to a Premier League contender is insane. And the reason that he didn't, from what I read, is nobody wanted to offer him more than like a two-year deal. Like, I don't, how many times does this guy have to be good at Crystal Palace before you just put some respect on his name? Yeah. It's insane. Crazy. You know Dude, why? That, because he went to Man U when he was he 18. Stunk it up? For, for how long? How long he stink it up for? He was at Man U for three years. Oh, I thought it was two. Okay. So from what, 18 to 21? Um, Maybe a little older. He, he might have been 20. 23 when he left. He might have been 23. But yeah, still, he, I mean, he was he he was early twenties. Yeah. How many years in a row do you have to be a club's MVP before they're like, you know what? Maybe that one band you transfer doesn't define his entire career. But y'all dominate the media, so y'all control the narrative. It's honestly That's disgusting. Right. It's That's absolutely right. disgusting. Uh, <laughs> I'm revolted. Foul. Yeah, bro. I don't know. Uh, they got that Jefferson Lerma coming in, which Connor we talked about in our Coma Bowl yeah. transfer videos. You guys can go find that on the channel. Great signing. But then they bring in Matias Fran- Franza, a Brazilian. Seems like it's a potential buy. I don't yeah. know if he's going to step in and be a baller right now. They're going to need some help. And that's it. <laughs> that's it, bro. What What is the bench? I mean, for God's sake. And they, they're they another team with injury problems. Mateta? Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's bad. Like, how many games did Olise miss? Dude, he, need, he needs a double-double. Him and Eze need double to be... Doubles. Kobe and Shaq. They really do. Tenth. They really do. It's going to be bad. I mean, look, I love watching Palace, and we voted them the best jerseys, right? We did. Best, did they no, win best? No, no they didn't West win Ham, best. West Ham won best. West Ham won yeah. best. But they were Ironic. top five, even though Jake completely – And they're going affected. down. They're going down with the best jersey. That's crazy. You th- Wait, so your, your actual three is West Ham, Wolves, Palace? That's like one of the – No, West Ham, oh, okay, okay. Wolves, then I said Sheffield. Okay, I'm going Wolves, Bournemouth, Luton. I'm going Wolves, Bournemouth, and uh, oh, 
I think Burma stay up. Now nah, they got rid of my boy Gary O'Neill. <laughs> Big L right boy, you've never said that shit before. What you never you mean, said bro? that. You never said that boy Gary O'Neill. Never before, said, yo, you you never said his boy. name. I talked to Gary on the day. You never said Gary O in your whole damn life. I would have yeah, hey, I was advocating for him for the Spurs job. Shut uh, that ass up. Your boy Gary O. My guy Gary, bro. What you mean? Yeah, I think um, Wolves is a lock. Um, I think Burnmouth is. I don't know if it's a lock, but Wolves feels like it's a lock. highly likely. That's yeah, my like hot relegated likely. team is Wolves. And after you sign or don't resign Raul Jimenez, you deserve it, quite frankly. So if Nagelsmann goes to Newcastle <laughs> and they rehire Eddie Howe, will y'all still feel the same way? Wait, wait, wait. If Bournemouth rehire Eddie Howe. Yes. Oh, they staying up. They staying up. Oh, they play in Europe. It's like Moses returning to do what Moses did. To the to the Israelites? Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Bournemouth are the Israelites, is basically what I'm saying. Wow. Marcus Tavernier is I actually don't know how many Israelites I can name, but he's one of them. And Eddie Howe was the prophet. And it's not meant to be for Newcastle, and it's not fair. But um, because he's not won a major trophy, they're going to say he ain't good enough. You know who ain't good enough to keep Wolves up? It's Quang Hee Chan, bro. I need I need 10 goals this season. That, that boy needs some help. This is a this is a perfect opportunity for him to prove all the uh, haters wrong. Raul Jimenez is out. Adama yep. Traore is out. Yep. I need 10 goals, dude. Yep. Or else need, go back need, to the K League. Honestly, more than that. Back, go back, back to, to the K League. Back to Jun Book. Yeah, I hate to say it, but it's back to Jun Book, bro. Suwon FC. They could probably use him. I Su need to Wu see FC? some. Suwon. Suwon FC. Suwon. You know he'd be throwing that shit up when he fucking hits a banger Su into the top right. Suwon. Su yeah. Um, how often does he do that? What do you got? Four goals last season? God damn. See, and the problem is, is that I don't even think he's going to start because they're just going to put Cunha up top, right? Because he can play central forward. God forbid. Yeah. I mean, yes, he is a center forward. But then won't they put Wayne Yichan right? That's kind of what I'm I'm picturing. Maybe uh the one Brazilian lad left, Wayne Yichan right, Cunha up top. What's his name? God damn it. Uh, he came and scored a banger for them last season. And Bros like, had eight goals and 57 appearances in the prep. Nope. 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 It's not good enough. That's awful. It's not good enough. I mean, I'm sure a lot of those are subs, but it's not good enough. Matthias Nunez. That's the other guy I'm thinking of. Yeah. Uh, hey, it's his time, dude. 27 years old. You, you enter in your prime. Need to see it. Otherwise, truthfully, he'll probably go to France or something. Oh, the Bundesliga. They love Koreans in Germany. If he doesn't do well this season, he he's still lower on the pecking order than Kim Shin Wook. On the Korean GOAT list? Yes. Well, I mean, I, I don't even know if that's incorrect. I don't even know if that's incorrect. I, f I feel like I have no proof, but I feel like Kim Shin Wook had some big goals for the national team. He definitely uh, gets more women. That's... I feel like he scored a towering header against the Japanese in an away qualifier one time. At least I hope he did. That a sounds towering sick. header against the Japanese. I was about to say, what a banger news line. Yeah, exactly. Oh, my God, just a ticker at the bottom. I haven't thought about Kim Shin Wook at a hot minute. Where does he play for? <laughs> He's definitely at some Hong Kong club or something. Yeah. <laughs> like United Sailors or some something. I don't even know. <laughs> No, he's playing for uh... Hong Kong Premier League. You're right. I knew it. Yeah, no, it's like... he's playing for the fucking uh, Police Terro. So... Yeah, exactly. the police team in Vietnam and Hanoi. Um, okay, uh, anything else y'all want to say before we sign off? Marcus Rashford not top ten in scoring. Agree? Disagree? No, call. no, no. I think he is. I think he's okay. Top 10 I think he was sixth last season or five or something like that. I think but. he is. I think he is. I think he's gonna have uh, maybe even a better season this year. Okay. Yeah, I I wasn't sure about that one, and that was kind of if y'all stole one of mine, that was kind of my backups. But I'm not even sure I believe that. Um, okay, guys, I think we're gonna end the episode there. Like I said at the beginning, make sure you leave your hot takes below in the comments, and which one of our hot takes 
was the most insane zero percent chance of ever happening let us know both in the comments and also in the discord which you can find the link in the description of this video i'm about Leave to a like on the video for that chelsea take dude i already you know, know that that's crazy i i was like damn arsenal not finishing ucl like i'm gonna get eviscerated dude you and wanted you came out with the uh, you came out with the chelsea Pochettino. i already forgot the about your arsenal take dude yeah like, i forgot it i forgot to say too that shit was ice cold compared to what you said um Okay, yeah, you guys let us know in the comments. Leave a like in the video if you enjoyed. Make sure you give the podcast a five-star rating if you're listening on the streaming platform. And we will see you guys in the next episode.